most of what we've been doing so far are parts of Markdown from like the regular version, right? But there are a few things that GitHub has added to their version of it. And some editors allow them and some don't. This editor, for the most part, is pretty happy with most GitHub, um, but it doesn't work with this one. But I'll just show you how to do it here. Um, anyways, then we'll paste it over and you'll see how it actually looks. So this is a checklist, or sometimes called a task list. And for GitHub, a service like GitHub, that's a pretty cool thing, right? Because a lot of times, uh, GitHub is about developers or programmers making things. So they might want a task list, right, to show um, essentially a list like this, but some sort of um, a way of showing things that they've completed on the list, as opposed to just all the, the uh, graphics being the same. And sure, of course, this way, you can make them different, but this also causes indentation, and that might not be what you want. So if I delete all of the indentation, right, all of these are the exact same, and you might not want that. How do you show which ones you've done and which ones you haven't? Do you add an extra line break in there, right? Like, that's, that's not super clear either. So GitHub solution is a task list. They're really easy to make. Um, so essentially, it's a, a, a hyphen, um, and we can put in these square brackets, right? And then that's that's essentially all it is. Now, some of these things I've already completed, and there's some things that I haven't completed yet uh, that we just uh, that are not on my list, right? So I've also done images, and I've done links, and this is task lists which I'm doing right now. And then we'll do like images by reference and links by reference and how to, oops, how to make an image a link, right? And that's fine, but some of these I've done. So how do I how do I designate which ones I've done and which ones I haven't? If the brackets are empty, I haven't done that one yet. To show that I have done it, I just drop an X in there instead. And you can see that um, that this Markdown editor is saying like, hey, I know you're doing something, but it doesn't really quite know what I'm doing. It's not displaying it properly. And that's okay. As soon as I copy this into GitHub, it will be fine there. So let's Let's do that. I'll Command A to grab or to select everything. Command C to copy it. Keep in mind on a PC you're doing Control A, Control C. I'll go back over to my GitHub page, my GitHub repository. I'm already in my Markdown file, right? But if you're not, you know, you can go to your repository, click on the file you need, edit it, right? And I will just Command A to select everything. Command V to paste what I've already grabbed from over here on a PC, Control A, Control V. And I'll do commit changes. Now if I scroll down, here we've got this cool little task list. Now I switched those from asterisks to hyphens. And is that really necessary? Let's give it a shot and see if that's really necessary. We often use we can use the asterisks for bullet points, right? And this is sort of a list too. So does that work? I want to say it does. It does work, right? So you often see it listed as hyphens, but once again, either method works, right? Whichever you prefer. And if we hop over to my uh, actual pages version, my GitHub pages version of the page, has it has it loaded yet? There we go, it has, right? Now it did load a little bit differently here, right? So if we go back to here, we don't have the bullets, uh, but here we've got the bullets, but we still have the checklist and that's okay. Keep in mind that sometimes the way it loads in your repository is not the same way it loads on the pages, um, but it still has that support. So that's a pretty cool little option as well, I think. 